Hi guys, just gonna make a quick video for you about humidification within your CPAP machine. Uh, I've been getting a few calls of late just on how to change things and whether or not you actually need to use your humidifier. Um, leading into the change of seasons, we'll often find issues uh, pop up uh, with the humidifier. So what I'll do is show you how to change settings on the AirSense 10 um, and I'll, I'll show you the options for the Air Mini as well. Uh, so with the AirSense 10, it's going to be a bit tricky, I'm going to do it on the camera. Um, to change the humidifier settings, I recommend having your heated tube clicked in. So just plonk that in at the back of the machine. Um, and yeah, that just allows us to change things a bit easier. So what you want to do is click into My Options. And this machine is currently set to Auto. So you want to change that over to manual. And then you can change the tube temperature. So that's on 27 at the moment. So coming into summer, you might want the air to be a little bit cooler. So you can turn that down. Just experiment with what you want to do. I mean, 27 is the default level. Um, I don't know, just for argument's sake, let's start on 24. And if you find that it's too warm or it's too cold, just adjust it accordingly. Um, and then we've got the humidity level. So that's default settings on four. Again, you can turn that up to get some more moisture in, or you can turn that down to get less in. So that's, that's um, how you can flick it over from the auto adjusting humidification over to the manual and you can tweak it to, to what you need. Um, I guess something else that's important to note is that you don't actually have to use humidification if you don't want to. Um, humidification is there for comfort. So if you're getting dry or you're getting sore in the throat, then humidification can help. Um, if you're getting blocked up, humidification can help with that as well. So if you ramp up the humidification, that can help to loosen things up in the airway for you too. Um, what you can do with the AirSense 10, uh, when you first buy the machine, you, you'll get it looking like this. You can actually replace the humidifier tub with a side cover. This one's white, so excuse the lack of color coordination is for the for her, but you get the drift. That just clicks into the side of the machine. Um, what you could do is just turn all the settings to, to off within the humidifier, uh, but this will automatically do that for you. Uh, but if you want your machine to be a little bit smaller, you can replace the humidifier tub with that cover, which makes it a bit more efficient. With, the, with some of the other models of CPAP machine, like the S9, for example, what you can do with that is unclip the humidifier at the back and separate the machine and the, and the humidifier. And then you can uh, plug a standard tube into that, which, um, which will mean that the machine will use less power and take up half the space, uh, which can be a good alternative if you're traveling. So just bear that in mind as well. Um, so yeah, Mini, the humidification for that you've got the Humidex tabs. So this is the Humidex standard tab, that's blue. Uh, then you've got the gray tab, which is the Humidex Plus. Uh, so the Plus will just give you a little bit more moisture and hold on to a little bit more heat. Uh, trial and error with those, I, it's really hard for me to, to know which one's gonna work best for you. So you'll just need to um, have a play around with those and see which one's best. And what you might find is that one might be better suited for you in winter, one might be better suited for you in summer. So the Humidex tabs, they just sit in here. Uh, replace them every 30 days from when you open it, not 30 days of use. Um, just bear that in mind too. Uh, they'll just click in like that. Um, so if you don't want to use the humidification tabs with the Air Mini, just take it out and reconnect your mask like that. Um, so yeah, basically the video, I've just shown you how to change the settings on the AirSense 10. I've also shown you how you can use the AirSense 10 without humidification. We've talked about the different types of humidifier tab in the Air Mini. Um, and we've also discussed that you can use Air Mini without humidification as well. Bear in mind that humidification is there for your comfort. Uh, so if you're experiencing dryness, stuffiness, or, or a sore throat, then tweak your humidifier settings. Um, if you're finding that humidifier is not all that useful for you, then just stop using it. Thanks for your time.